Thanks very much. All right, a brazen shooting outside of On Sports Bar. Here's Tammy. All right, thanks very much, Kev. Three people were injured in the shooting. At least one person has since been released from hospital. It happened outside of the bar in Pine Valley Drive. That's near Highway 7 at around 11.30 last night. Three people suffered non-life-threatening injuries. One person was seen running from the area. But police have not released any suspect information. Investigators believe it was targeted. And Toronto police hunting for a number of suspects after a shooting in the East End. The victim, a man in his 20s, was hit while driving near Victoria Park in Sloan. That's at around 8.30 last night. He was rushed to hospital with serious injuries, but he is expected to survive. At least four people were seen fleeing the area in a minivan. The Victoria Village Library also taped off, but it's still not clear if that was related to the shooting. A man clinging to life in hospital this morning following a fire at an apartment building in High Park. A crews were called to Mountain View Avenue near Keel and Bloor around 10 o'clock yesterday morning. And inside, they found a man in critical condition inside a unit on the 11th floor. He was taken to a nearby hospital with life-threatening injuries. Investigators say hoarding was a factor in fighting the flames. Officials are also looking into reports. Firefighters were not able to use the elevators at the time of the fire. It's still unclear what caused the blaze. The Ontario Fire Marshal is now investigating. Well, the majority of Torontonians support the idea of bringing more bike lanes to the city. And virtually the same number say that cyclists should be required to have licenses and insurance, similar to motorists. According to a newly released campaign research poll, 57% of those surveyed approve of adding more bike lanes to Toronto streets. Slightly more, 60% also believe that cyclists should be tested for competency and be required to have the same kind of papers drivers need to legally take the road. Some passengers will be returning from London today after their scary experience on board an Air Canada Rouge flight. The aircraft blew a tire on takeoff. A piece of the ceiling falling down as the plane makes a shaky landing at Gatwick Airport. The piece of the aircraft had to be held up by passengers during the descent. The Toronto-bound flight had to turn around just moments after taking off when it burst a tire. The airport shutting down an entire runway as a precaution. One passenger says she heard a big bang as the tire burst. Yeah. The point where we actually... Uh, left the ground, there was suddenly a big bang and, and some scrambling noise. So sort of like a noise that's not supposed to be there, you know, usually it shakes a bit when the, uh, the landing gear is sort of uh, in, in the aircraft, but it was sort of wobbling. I was sort of looking around wondering what that was. It was very bumpy landing. It, it felt exactly what you would expect to feel when, I mean, if you're driving a car and there's like a tire flat, it would be like a very bumpy ride. About 300 passengers were on the flight and no one was injured. Some people are expected to arrive in Toronto later this afternoon. Gatwick has since reopened the runway, but say that there could be a few cancellations due to yesterday's disruptions.